came out of the tent to start preparing for lunch just in time to see the guys at the marina getting our new winter home prepared for us. That's right, we're gonna go back on the Viking, more space, more stable, much happier Jessica over winter. So Tucker's boat was moved to be back here, a little bit safer from all the wind and the waves. We're gonna go on the outside and we'll see how Alex does docking it. <laughs> You gonna need a hand with lines? All right, I'll come around. We're gonna have so much fun this winter. All right. Home sweet home. We only have that much of a jump every time we want to get off. After eight years of the nomadic life involving crossing oceans in a 34-foot saber, refitting an aluminum boat, and then taking that to the Arctic Circle, we're back at it again with a brand new build. This is Matt and I'm Jessica. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us every week as we start our newest project of building a 42-foot catamaran from the ground up. Now that we had the cockpit seats in place, the next step of adding to our collection of molded pieces were the side decks. Enlisting the help of Alex and Tucker once more, we also brought in Will, a charter boat captain who was hanging around the tent. And between the five of us, managed to lift the side decks over the bow and get them into position. Now the time we should start moving it over. Yeah. Alright, All right, well, right, stop. Yeah, you guys moving? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. After the cockpit seats were bonded into place against the bridge deck of the boat, as well as the transom, we had one spot left to bond them, and that was to bulkhead six. Matt cleaned off the excess gel coat within our bunk, since it wasn't necessary, and then I went to lay a bead of our methacrylate bonding agent between the seat and the bulkhead. Once there was a nice thick layer on, Matt pulled the two pieces together, 
sticking a cleat between the bulkhead and a phalange to keep them tight. Then it was time to make sure everything was level. So the goal here is to, at this part, position between bulkhead six like this, is to get this deck flange and this outside part completely level. So it makes a really easy reference point. That's all I'm doing right now and pulling this down until it gives me exactly level. And then we know we're all right. Now with the deck actually resting in place up here, um, we're now into that fun stage of no more natural light. So we have light set up over there, over here, there's gonna be shadows all over the place, and it's really echoey sounding. So <laughs> please bear with us. Today we're going to get the shower pan actually adhered in place, um, bonded properly to the hull. It is, it's not really structural, but it does add some strength along this area. And how it does that is we're gonna bond with that methacrylate again. We're bonding these big flanges, the big sides of this, um, against the hole itself. And then the web underneath there, we're just gonna apply a big um, blob of, of um, polyester putty, uh, putty, that total boat stuff that we've been using, which works great for this. We'll just bond that down and get that all in place. But the reason why we're, we're moving ahead on this right now is the next step after this is in place is actually going to be putting these webbing, which are structural frames. Um, those need to be put in place. They're adding a lot of strength along this edge here and along our flange, that part that we bonded together previously where those two pieces come together. Um, so it reinforces all of that. Well. If we have these bonded in place, we can't actually get the shower pan in. So we need to do that first, then this uh, setup will come up, and this is what forms our shelving and our cabinetry as well. To give our shower pan a good surface to bond onto, as Matt had mentioned, we're putting 90 degree phalanges into the webbing of the hole to create more of a bonding surface. All of this is being done with the structural putty polyester resin from Total Boat. Power washing season has begun again, so I'm expecting over the next four weeks that Alex and Tucker are constantly making hauling boats out. So you can expect some of that as background noise, but we are doing fun things in here and we're getting ready to bond the shower pan down. First, Matt is going through and putting some thickened um, polyester resin down. So we'll set that on there just to make sure it sticks to those 90 degree phalanges that we put down before lunch. 
and then we're going to mix up some of our methacrylate, get that on the sides, press that out towards the whole sides, and um, get that all bonded. Kind of nice, we move the side deck so there's just a little bit more light coming through now, making it easier to see. This thing is like the weirdest shape, and it's the most awkward thing to move. Now I got some hot light. Step one complete. <laughs> really need to fix that hole in your pants. <laughs> in my hand, I've got a bag that is around 700 grams of our methacrylate bonding agent. And I have since taped around the edges, a really bright light. Matt's going to squeeze it in there and then we're going to um, use cleats to press it out to the whole side. a bunch of the methacrylate across this area and what I can do is I can kind of just pull this out this flange out uh, along here and you can work it so it goes further and further down um, we ended up using enough with the area that we we're doing that we should get a good bond along maybe five inches four inches of this area along this side and around here too so just working it down a little bit further and then I will pull this into that edge and squeeze. in the very last cleats down there, but overall I would say it was a success. It's been kind of funny since we've started dealing with these smaller pieces, how much smaller of a job it seems to bond them in versus when we were doing like the bridge deck and the hull sides and all of that. So success there, we're going to let it uh, cure temperatures. This is the last kind of nice day. It's about 63 degrees Fahrenheit in here right now. We'll probably stick the heating lamp on it. But one thing I did want to mention is that it may have looked like we were just sealing that entire area off. And unlike some of the floors, which we will never have access to, uh, we are <laughs> eventually going to cut a hole into that um, shower pan area, I think like right by the bulkhead where you walk in. So we will have access to like drains and plumbing and that kind of thing. It's just that we're doing that a little bit later down the road. Now that our master bath shower pan has been placed in and my job right now is to kind of cut out some of the excess methacrylate that squeezed out yesterday, Matt is going through and fitting our port side deck, which it's actually pretty crazy like the way that it changes the look of everything. <laughs> it's like such a sterile environment right now. I know. Everything's, Everything's white. So bright white. And then you're in your suit. White suits, looking good. White mask on. But we are we are so close to fitting this now. Um, just straight out of the container, it actually is trimmed really well. So it's fitting all along here. The only thing that's holding it up are these flanges. The, the bottom flanges underneath are a little bit too wide. So I got to trim those down from the underside and then it should plop right into place, but it's looking awesome. Absolutely awesome. See where I mapped out the overhead.
So right above us is where the two pieces come together. You can see the core on either side and then the flange. And this is the underside bottom flange that's actually attached to the cockpit seat itself. But you can see it kind of overlaps right now and is touching against the core. Uh, the core through this section is about an inch thick, so 25 millimeters. Um, and what I have to do is trim that down, which should be roughly about this blue line here. Cut that down and then it should drop hopefully into place. And now we see how well it comes together. Ah, I didn't get enough. <laughs> This afternoon, Matt and I are getting out of the marina for just a little bit because the holidays are upon us, if you can't tell. And we have our little happy hour group here at the marina, which is Matt and I, and uh, Tucker and Pete, the owner of the marina, because we all work on Saturdays. So at the end of the day, we usually go enjoy like a drink and maybe dinner at the restaurant next door to the restaurant. And because Pete usually picks up the drinks for us, we wanted to do something nice for him and get him a Christmas tree for the office because he really loves Christmas. It's one of his favorite holidays. So we're about to hop into Tucker's truck here and go to a Christmas tree farm not too far away and figure out the perfect tree to set up in the office and surprise Pete. Ready to go get a tree? Yeah. That's the perfect vehicle for it. We are now in the Tuckahoe area of Maryland, a bit east of Kent Island, and I think we're at like the Blue Heron Christmas Tree Farm, and as you can tell, we did get here a little late in the season. A lot of it has been picked out, but the good thing is because it needs to fit in the office, we don't want something too big anyway, so it actually has a lot of just perfect sized trees for us. <laughs> yeah, we bought a lot of lights, and as you can see, what's out here, uh, there are no big trees. Which is fine, we don't have a big space to put yeah. it, but. Should we get this guy and put the like Christmas tree chopper like five feet above the rest of the tree? Uh -huh. Oh, it's got quite a bit of yellow in it. I know, but yeah, look at that. Maybe like way out there, there's something. All right, show, show, show Georgie how it's done. I like how this is somehow turning out to be like the most difficult decision in the world, but it's for Pete, so we have to find the perfect tree. You're gonna be down. Oh, there you go. I was hoping someone would say it. Aw. Look at you. Can you hold it? Such a woodsman. Well, I think we're the last customers here, although we did come pretty close to sunset just because Matt and I were trying to get a full day of work in. But we've got a tree, so we're gonna go get it wrapped up, bring it back to the marina, and then uh, spend some time decorating it. tree is now successfully back at the marina and we had planned to buy a stand to put it on at the Christmas tree farm but at like $45 a piece there's no way that's happening so I think the guys are going to try and find out a way to build one of our own here right now. Said that. 
whittle that thing down. Yeah. And you thought you were done with work for the day? I did. Then we just put a bolt. Yeah. Put a flipping Language bolt. Language Tucker. Put a dang flipping bolt. Dang flipping bolt. Do you want a screw bolt or you want a screw? That's pretty slick, the, the base. closer to finishing our decorations on the Christmas tree but the only thing is we didn't think about how to light it in this corner because there's not an extension cord so don't know if we'll go get one or who knows Matt and I could take our Jackery solar generator and just put it under the tree. Haha -ha, you read my mind! Ha <gasps> ha! And so we can get an extension cord in here to put the tree in a plug. The Jackery is actually doing a really good job of keeping it lit and feeling festive in here. We've got all of the lights on, all of the ornaments on, and the last thing to go on is the tree topper. <gasps> there we go. Okay, so Pete comes in in like 36 hours. We're gonna give Tucker and Alex one of the cameras so they can get his reaction, but I hope he enjoys this. Pete, I never got a reaction from you. What did you think of your surprise Christmas tree? I love it. You liked it? Yeah, Good. very much, thank you. You're welcome. Hi. <laughs> so we're not gonna use that. I just like to see the look in your eyes. It's the only thing she's gonna use in the video. Yep. It's gonna be her intro, just me. Hi. Hi. All right, I'm gonna clip it on here a second, and then once it starts to get up on deck, I'll change positions and run it up there. Oh. We gotta rotate now. Damn it. Maybe Christmas, Pete, here's a tree in a bucket. There we go, there's the first one. Now let's okay. tie all these other ones together. Yeah, we get to they tie. Have to be, they have to be tied together? They have to be yeah. tied. How many paper clips do we have? Yeah. Oh my God, that's all right, we gotta get one of you too. So. But try not to get like your hairy knuckles in the shot. My hairy knuckles. Why is there glitter on my jacket? I don't, didn't put it there. Just... I don't think that glitter came from Christmas tree. I think that came from Chantel. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's make it in the video. Yep. <laughs> Japan. 